We're going to see how to use Minitab to calculate um, these um, estimates and sum of square and contrast, things like that. If you remember this problem, we are trying to use, we, we use manually, we calculated all of these uh, effect of A, B, C and also their contrast and their sum of square manually. Check the other video to to see how these were calculated manually so you could get the contrast here and then the effect and then estimates and then estimates which is the coefficient for the regression model if you want to if you are interested in finding the uh, coefficient for regression model and then if you are interested to create a ANOVA table see the level of significance then you need to find out this uh, sum of a square and using this sum of a square we created this ANOVA table and we have shown that how to do that in the earlier video now if we uh, want to save time and then use uh, a software if you have any statistical software available I'm gonna show you three softwares today um, let's say you have availability of Minitab so can, what you can do you can simply copy the data in Minitab and then go to a stat uh, ANOVA generalized linear model feed linear linear model and then choose the response choose the factor and in the model statement you're going to have here i run kind of full factorial and i have shown you how to run that if you want to uh, normally if you what you have is something like this and then what you can do is you can select all of them and then and get all the um, interaction so this is a full factorial model that we're running so hit ok and then if you hit ok you will see some output like this so here you got the ANOVA table and then the uh, coefficient estimate now here is the interesting thing about Minitab for some reason it's giving you exactly the opposite so in fact this is uh, four point 53 uh, 0.65 1.34 they're all negative in our manual calculation and manual calculation was correct so let me go here and show you so if you look at all these estimates right here this is the estimate for a which is negative estimate for c which is negative and then uh, sorry estimate for b this one was estimate for c which is also negative uh, estimate for d was positive and if you look at mini tab look what it gives you so that uh, so here you go so ABC all negative for some reason is adding one negative sign here and saying multiply this with minus one I don't know why it's doing it and then D is negative in in contrast we found that um, D is not negative the the estimate is positive so if you want to have a regression coefficient so that's going to be y equals this constant plus uh, minus this um, uh, x1 uh, minus this x2 minus this x3 and then plus uh, 1.96 x4 where x1 x2 x4 indicates a b c d variable now I also analyze that using just in curiosity um, whether if we made any mistake or not so this is the output from SAS um, a statistical analysis software one of the most powerful software in the statistics world so you can see that we got the same signs for um, for what we have got in MS Excel however in Minitab we got the opposite signs now another software is called SPSS this is the output from SPSS I didn't run the full model I only run for three just their main effect and as you can see this sign negatives uh, a b c all negative signs meaning that if you increase the level of a then the um, then the um, the response goes down on the other hand d if you increase the uh, d uh, high level to high level then the uh, then the response goes down so um, SPSS, SAS, Excel they're all giving same 
exact same um, answer uh, minitab is giving a little bit different it is the exact same number though it's only the negative sign so if you want to find a regression equation for uh, from minitab all you have to do is just add just multiply with one minus sign so this one gonna be y equals 82 not the coefficient though coefficient sign is fine in both cases so y equals 82.87 plus minus 4.53 x1 minus 0.65 x2 minus 1.344 x3 uh, plus plus uh, 1.969 x4 and where x1 x2 x3 indicates a b c uh, variable like that so it's not really that different and also an over table the exact same do you see the Univa? this is the mini tab and over table let me show you the one we created manually using excel so that's the it's the same same numbers so all of these are exact same numbers as mini tab um, if we go to sas uh, statistical analysis system the most powerful one exact same in sas you look at type 3 output these are the exact same numbers yes mini tab and excel and um, and then let, let me look at the sps's output so what is that about uh, this is the unavoidable sum of the square. They're exact same value. Uh, just lazy not to change the variable names. But uh, this corresponds to A, this corresponds to B, uh, 57 corresponds to C, and then D is 124. So if you look at all these uh, values in, in you know, here, here, and then here, they're exact same. So all Minitab, Excel, SAS, SPSS, they're all giving same analysis of variance table, all same ANOVA table. The only difference Minitab is giving you one additional negative sign before the coefficient. So you just have to be careful on that. So if you want to calculate the regression number or p-value, things like that, you could use any software. You don't have to do it manually. The reason why to introduce, we did manually to introduce to do the poor care design because we want to see a little bit uh, what's going on inside behind the scenes so you understand the the importance of this analysis uh, and, and kind of predict um, by looking at the data uh, by looking at some few numbers we should be able to do manually uh, calculate it but in long term it just wastes of time if you have software availability use many tabs as SPSS whatever uh, comes to you uh, easy um, you don't have to use manual calculation but sometimes we need to see what's going on manually inside the scene you know behind the scene things like that I hope this helps uh, you to clarify how to use uh, different softwares and how to read the output